We have a consumer alert tonight. Thieves are taking personal checks right out of these blue mailboxes and cashing them. It's happened at least twice recently in Mira Mesa, right in front of the post office. I just drove up in my car and uh, dropped it off. It was back in April at the Mira Mesa Post Office when Barbara Reynolds mailed a $400 check to the state tax board, but the department never received it. Here's the check that was washed and rewritten. Days later, a man tried to cash the same check in San Juan Capistrano. The check had been washed and a different name added. Luckily, the bank became suspicious and refused to cash it. I had to close my account. Um, I had to, you know, sign up for another one, and um, it takes time for that. It's, it's very time consuming. Last week, it happened again at the same Mira Mesa post office. James, who didn't want his last name used, mailed a check early in the morning. Four hours later, someone tried to cash it at a bank right across the street. The check was to pay the phone bill. It was around $70, and when he went to cash it, he had changed it to $1,770, but uh, thankfully the bank caught it. The crime is called mailbox phishing, where thieves use a device to reach inside the mailbox and steal envelopes. My girlfriend said she saw a bunch of mail laying on the ground two weeks earlier at about 4.30 in the morning with some kind of cardboard contraption stuck inside the box. The Postal Inspection Service says to avoid becoming a victim, drop off mail inside the post office. Or if you do use a mailbox, drop off envelopes shortly before pickup time. Even better, pay your bills online instead of mailing checks. You can also write your checks using pens with pigment ink that cannot be washed off. My advice is don't deposit your mail in uh, one of these, especially if there's, you know, a check. Probably thought those blue mailboxes were safe, but no, think again. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service tells us it is aware of those recent thefts at the Mira Mesa Post Office. If you are a victim of mail theft, report it. We've posted a link on how to do so at CBS8.com.